हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वेलकम टू आरलेसेरा एंड ऑब्वियसली आपने मींस थंबनेल देखा होगा सो दिस रिव्यू इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर एचबीटीयू कानपुर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट कि अभी तक मोस्ट ऑफ द जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज हैं उनके रिव्यू हमने ऑलरेडी अपलोड कर दिए हैं एंड सम अदर यूपी मींस यूनिवर्सिटी लाइक ट्रिपल एम एंड ऑल सो नाउ दिस वीडियो इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर एच कानपुर so for that uh, aryan is from there so i would like to thank him because he joined and uh, obviously this review is uh, helpful for junior so he just about to take admission so i would like to start this uh, review from the very short introduction of aryan so yeah arya how are you uh, hello neeraj i am fine how are you yeah and you are doing very good work like uh, you are helping juniors in this time like something is going on so it's a uh, very helpful yeah sure so just tell me about means uh, what sort discipline and in which year you are i currently i am in my final year in electronics and communication engineering okay okay so uh, sabse pehle main aryan aapko ye batana chahta hu i am from electrical entry and uh, if i talk about those one uh, means currently uh, means ek tu se and uh, in your uh, means college also uh, some student comes from j mains and some students come from cuet means electrical entry so if i talk about me means lateral entry ke liye hbtu is just like iits because hamare liye agar up ki baat kare to hbtu se means upper koi college nahi hota hai but aapke liye iits and it is hota hai because you comes from jai mains so first of all correct, correct. first of all i would like to know ki means why you join hbtu means uh, means aapne kuch merit dekha hoga what was the reason behind join hbtu <laughs> the reason like uh, पहले जो एच की लेगेसी है लाइक इट्स एन 104 ईयर ओल्ड प्रीमियम यूनिवर्सिटी सो अभी भी जैसे अभी हम लोग इंटर्नशिप करते हैं या कहीं पर भी जाते हैं तो एक जो लेगेसी और इसका एक जो नाम है वो अभी भी नेशनल वाइड है और इवन फॉरन में भी अगर आप जाकर नाम लोगे एच बी टू कानपुर तो इट्स क्वाइट फेमस देन मैंने ये देखा कि जैसा कि जो हिस्ट्री थी यहाँ की और सबसे बड़ा जो मेन पॉइंट है यहाँ का एलनाई नेटवर्क तो मैं मानता हूँ कि सबसे बड़ी सबसे बड़ा प्लस पॉइंट है एलमनाई नेटवर्क ओके लाइक वी हैव ग्रुप्स इन कॉमन लाइक सिक्स एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी परसन ओनली फ्रॉम फॉरन लाइक सम फ्रॉम कनाडा अमेरिका यूएस एंड इन इंडिया इट्स वाइड अक्रॉस यू नो मेनी एलमनाइज एक्जेक्टली ओके सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट लेटर एंट्री तो अगर हमारा जो रैंक है अगर अंडर फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी होता है मीन्स अंडर फिफ्टी देन वी आर एलिजिबल फॉर एच बी टी तो वट अबाउट मीन्स लीनियर मीन्स आप लोग जेई मेन्स आते हैं तो वट एंड मीन्स अप्रॉक्स क्लोजिंग एंड ओपनिंग रैंक ऑफ एच बी टी इन जेई मेन्स या ओके इफ आई टेल फॉर द जनरल कैटेगरी देन इट्स अबाउट थर्टी वन टू थर्टी टू थाउजेंड एंड क्लोजिंग एट लास्ट एट फिफ्टी और फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड ओके Okay, fine. Yeah, it's a it's a data of my year, and now currently it's a going closer. Like uh, in third year, in the last year it was fifty six, and this year I think it's now fifty one or fifty two. So it's a varying. It's a range of five to ten thousand, but uh, it will close largely by fifty six thousand. Okay, okay. So all right. So now, as far as I know, Kimin Sakiti uh, means uh, S B T was also means affiliated to A K T U means Dr. A P J Abdul Kalam University before two thousand sixteen, and now it is Central Funded University, right? correct no 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 it's a central not state funded university state university okay okay ha ah, so means it's autonomous right so everything is going here like exam and all correct correct okay like uh, before uh, before aktu for uh, 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 before 15 to 16 year it was affiliated with the kanpur university like csmu mm -hmm. it's nearby mm -hmm. so after it is uh, affiliated with aktu and uh, from the 2016 mm -hmm. it's now in uh, self autonomous university mm -hmm. so everything like exams copy checking mm -hmm. everything is done under the university and we also getting the degree of hbtu itself okay okay so now i had i would like to know ki how many branches in hbtu It's a total thirteen branches. Uh, like in HBTU, there are many other courses like MBA, BBA, and now some new uh, news are opening. But uh, if I talk talk about BTEC, then we have two schools. Mm -hmm. First is School of Engineering, and second is School of Chemical Technology. Okay. So, like uh, civil, CS, IT, Electronics, Electrical, Mechanical, Civil. Mm -hmm. uh, these are in School of Engineering. Okay. And in uh, School of uh, Chemical Technology, Chemical. Paint technology, plastic technology, laser technology, food technology, and biochemical engineering. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So after branch, I would like to know, means what about academic uh, criteria there? If I talk about state 
government college like I am from RAC. So in Rajki Engineering College, we have to attend means 75% attendance is compulsory. So means what about HVTU? Because most of the student uh, from third year and final year, maybe they are preparing for uh, placements because placement records is also uh, fine there. So means you get any kind of relaxation means like uh, you have to just go through 75 only or you can just means I want to know means 75% attendance is compulsory or not there. Uh, seventy-five percent is compulsory mm. according to papers, and but it varies teacher to teacher. Mm. Like uh, if, uh, we have four subjects, mm. then it depends upon the professor that uh, actually uh, at the time of exam, like mid semester and intern, mm. professor professor had to submit attendance report to the dean of academic affairs. Mm. So it depends upon teacher. But uh, <laughs> last time when I was in my sixth sem. Then in my class of 75, only 15 to 20 was giving exam. Mm. Every one rest was deferred. Mm. So it's a strict criteria here, but it's depend not uh, always, but sometimes. All right. Okay. So how many hostels are there? I, I hope there are so many hostels for boys and girls, right? Yeah, we have two campus. One is West Campus and one is East Campus. Both campus are four to uh, three to four kilometer apart. Okay. So all the girls hostels are in the East Campus itself. East Campus is the campus where the main academic block is there. All departments, all academic things are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, two hostels for the first year boys is in the East Campus. Mm -hmm. And the rest for the second year, third year, final year, and other courses, it's in West Campus. In the West Campus, approx four, uh, not five to six hostels are there. Mm -hmm. Approximate strength of three to four and mm. okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I would like to know about uh, obviously, Jovi video that they have main motive is Jo must have admission in a while. I have first to main focus on the placement. So, what would means average placement to every branches? See, uh, like a uh, placement, uh, if I talk about then definitely, if we talk overall, then it's not a good, good point. Like uh, in here, HBTU placement varies department to department, like. Uh, uh, like in chemical technology, we have 100% placements approx. In paint technology, we have 110%. Like okay. students are less and offers are more. Mm -hmm. so it depends uh, upon the department, like uh, placement in the chemical technology, CS, IT, mechanical, and uh, yeah, quite electrical also are good. But uh, some departments are facing some issues in the placement, like they are not uh, touching 95 or 90%. Like in my department, it's electronics. Mm -hmm. So last uh, this year, uh, approximately 75% are placed on mm -hmm. it. So it depends on the department. Exactly. Like, wow. yeah, like uh, in our mind, we are we are filling the preferences uh, like con conventional, like CSIT, electronics, electrical. But uh, I think uh, when if someone is coming here in HBTU, talk to seniors, talk to mentors mm -hmm. or academic counselors, whatever, and see your videos uh, like you are doing. So they will have to think like uh, which department will be suitable for the student. Yeah. Also depends upon interest. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I was just knowing. I mean, so like uh, on an average, if anyone is just taking admission, so means minimum how much placement uh, they will get from HBTU. Like an average in a criteria. They will, they, will, they, will, they will get decent placement. Exactly. Companies are visiting. They will get the decent placement for sure. If uh, he or she will approx 60 to 70 percent serious. Mm -hmm. For unserious ones, uh, we or college can't do nothing. Whether it is SBTU, NIT, or IIT. Exactly. So if you are if you are serious, you will definitely get the placement. Mm -hmm. I'm not guaranteeing you are getting to you are getting the placement to 15 LPA or 20 LPA. But you will get the decent place. Exactly. Okay. So now I would like to know about the means. Obviously, uh, senior are there, and already you talked about alumni. So what would mean interaction there? Means like ragging and all is going on, or a healthy interaction is going. <laughs> no. Previously, we call it ragging. It's not ragging. It's a like of teaching culture. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we have to say sir to our seniors. Exactly. There is a format of introduction, mm -hmm. format of asking name to seniors. It's a culture, not ragging. Exactly. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> student will enjoy. Mm -hmm. Some some are doing some ask things, but not too much. Mm -hmm. It's a bearable and enjoyable level. Exactly. Okay, so now I would like to know means obviously uh, you have just this, uh, means from last uh, three year in SBTU, now you are in final year. So obviously, uh, you have means merit and kuch demerit. Pata hi chala hoga. So la at last, I would like to know ki, according to your point of view, what is the merit and demerit of means HBTU? Firstly, the merit of HBTU is its brand value, exactly. its alumni network, mm -hmm. its capability to give you a decent placement mm -hmm. if you are serious enough. Mm -hmm. And demerit uh, uh, like the our uh, slavers yeah 
our flavors is so outdated mm-hmm. not our only all like ktu and hb2 mm-hmm. like uh, like iits and some nit we are not meeting the industry ready criteria mm-hmm. like uh, if i take examples in my branch like embedded system with iot is mm-hmm. going on in the industry and we'll say but we are not studying that we are studying that convenient uh, uh, older Mm-hmm. subjects mm-hmm. so this is the deficit and some things also like uh, according the potential of hbt it uh, hbt is not performing according to its potential mm-hmm. like uh, it can grow much but uh, some management issues are there and it's just, i told you it's a self university mm-hmm. so some glitches are there but uh, yes uh, it is the best option in up apart from an nit if uh, someone is getting the chance then he and she can come and join and grow yeah exactly Okay, so at last I would like to know, Kim. Means uh, obviously, junior are looking this video. So, according to your last three of experience, what would you like to suggest them? I will suggest to come here carefully, like uh, I have told you already. Mm-hmm. Take uh, look, uh, look uh, in the branches, placement, talk to seniors in the LinkedIn. Many ones are available. Mm-hmm. And one thing also, like uh, here, branch change is possible. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I am the example. Uh, in my first year, I was in mechanical engineering, okay. but. Uh, then uh, first year onwards in second year i have shifted to electronics engineering so according to the first year gpa branch change criteria is there so if uh, someone is getting some lower branch not lower according to his or her choice lower branch yeah, every branch is upper itself if uh, it uh, lies on its interest so uh, option is there for the branch exactly this is one of the best opportunity means agar aapka jee mains mein kam bhi rank hai and if you join any means lower branches but if you have opportunity to again upgrade your branches right Right. and many ones are saying that it's very tough it's very tough mm-hmm. uh, but i am saying it's not very tough uh, like uh, someone is uh, if uh, someone have prepared for je mm-hmm. then uh, he or she can put uh, just 50% of je mm-hmm. then surely you can jump to some higher exactly exactly because first year have a common common subjects not like that we have to yeah all common subjects and there and uh, to say in the first or second semester one semester is very simple like just uh, it's an introduction of some branch like one subject introduction to civil engineering introduction to mechanical mm-hmm. engineering so it's easy yeah. to score easy to jump and easy to branch in exactly interaction yeah. with yeah. the senior like getting guidance like yeah, what you have to do what and what pros and cons so interaction with that someone are some students i think they are getting scared of ragging and don't come to seniors it is the best mm-hmm. thing go to them exactly. they will they will teach you something exactly yeah so so all right aapne bahut acche se apne college ka review diya and for that i would like to thank you Thank you Aryan